everybody and welcome back to another reaction video from Out On That Line. And today I will be reacting to John Farnham performing Gethsemane from the musical Jesus Christ Superstar. So thank you to all of you for helping me pick the correct version. We're gonna go with Sydney, The Final Night, which I believe took place in 1992. And I'm particularly excited for this one because as I've said on the channel before, I am the musical theater and opera guy. And Jesus Christ Superstar happens to be one of my favorite musicals. And you get a singer like John Farnham, I can't even imagine what we're gonna come up with. So without further ado, let's get to the reaction. This is John Farnham with Gethsemane. Will no one stay awake with me? Peter, John, James. Will none of you wait with me? Peter, John, James. I only want to say If there is a way Take this cup away from me For I don't want To taste its poison Feel it burn me I have changed I'm not as sure as when we started Then I was inspired Now I'm sad and tired Listen Surely I've exceeded expectations All oh, I've tried for three years Seems like 30 Could you ask as much From many of our men But I try See the saga through And do the things you ask of me Let them hate me, hit me, hurt me Nail me to their tree Have to know have to know my lord Have to know I'd have to know my lord Have to see I'd have to see my lord Have to see I'd have to see my lord Why I should God Would I be more noticed Than I ever was before What the things I've said and done Matter anymore Have to see have to see my love Have to see, I'd have to see my love Have to know, I'd have to know my love Have to know, I'd have to know my love If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? Show me now that I would not be killed in vain Show me just a little of your omnipresent presence 
and I was inspired. Now I'm sad and tired. After all, I've tried for three years. Oh, it seems like ninety. Why then am I scared to finish what I started? What you started? I didn't start it. God, thy will is hard, but you hold every card. I will drink your cup of poison Bury to your cross And break Bleed me, bleed me, kill me Take me Before I change my mind. <laughs> Look, maybe it's lame and not fashionable to nerd out about a musical about Jesus. But I think it's about more than Jesus. I think it's his story of his final days that is exploring themes of destiny and sacrifice and standing up for something that might seem absolutely crazy to everybody else, but you know it's something you have to do. And I think that's applicable to things beyond religion and beyond the Passion of the Christ. And for those who aren't familiar with the musical or the story, Gethsemane is the garden where Jesus spent his final moments alone praying. Now he has to fulfill his destiny and he has to die for the sins of mankind. We watch Jesus go through this, he runs this gamut of emotions, bargaining, anger, denial, acceptance, classic stages of grief. And then in the end, he accepts his fate, and pretty soon after that, they come for him and the rest is history. As for this performance itself, John Farnham reaches into his bag of Farnsey tricks, to be sure. There are these wonderful runs, he gets right up into that high register like we know he can, and it's beautiful, but it's motivated by emotion. It's not just ornamental, like, look what I can do! We know he can do it, but all of the little flourishes and tricks that he pulls off are motivated by the emotion of the moment. And what he's doing on that stage is something I've talked about before, private and public. He's in this giant arena with this really cool rotating stage and this big orchestra and it's this whole production, but he manages to pull it down and keep it so intimate that it's focused entirely on the song and on the acting component of it. It's not John Farnham showing off. There are a lot of performers who could take that kind of material and use it as a centerpiece for their talent. But this is John Farnham giving his talent to the song, and I think there's a huge difference there. The moments where he's tender and beautiful, you, you hear the lightness of his voice, but when he's shouting to the heavens, like literally, it hits the back of the arena, I imagine everybody there had to have been completely spellbound by this. He's a great actor, too. I think I said that on the Please Don't Ask Me video, but he is a powerful actor, the way that he just draws you in. There's something really special about people who take musical theater seriously and bring it to life. It's got a magic all its own. I've had periods in my life where I've become like very cynical about how goofy musical theater is, or the fact that everything now is an adaptation of a crappy movie. But there's always moments like this and people like Farnsey who remind you 
that there is a singular magic to live theater. So I think I'll leave it here. Until next time, make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on. Make sure you leave a comment. We have a running list of uh, recommendations. We're gonna get to stuff like Boom Crash Opera and more Barnsey and some other stuff that's not Australian. Um, but we have a lot of stuff to get to and we're really excited to dive in. The channel's been growing. Welcome to all our new friends. Tell a friend to join us and we can't wait to explore more music with you. So until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.